you know, we know that in the 1960s there were two ministers who were preaching to us. One was Martin Luther King, and the other was the Reverend Robert F. Kennedy, who was telling us what the right thing to do was. And I know as an Irish Catholic uh, in the 1960s that uh, his was the church that I was praying in, but you needed to hear the words from him so that you knew what the right thing to do was. And uh, what um, Norman McAfee has done is to write a book uh, that has captured all of this wisdom. Uh, he is the author of the book, The Gospel According to RFK. Please welcome Norman McAfee. Thank you for inviting me here. It's a, it's a great honor. I'm the first non-politician to, to speak tonight. Um, and I'm going to take out my speech. But this is, uh, I, before we lose the, the thread of what John Kerry said and what other people have said about uh, the, the great, the great um, South African speech, which was against apartheid, uh, it is from numberless diverse acts, you know, all these courageous acts. What that does, and this is the end of the, the, this paragraph, and we think of it tonight and today and these years of the Patriot Act and uh, the, the almost neo-fascism of our, of our present government. These numberless courageous acts will, can sweep down, they can build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. We sometimes feel hopeless in, in situations, but even apartheid came down, even Bush can come down. <laughs> <laughs> um, this book contains the speeches of uh, Robert Kennedy's, uh, Robert Francis Kennedy's uh, 1968 presidential um, campaign. Only that, from the first words to the last, which are, let's win there. <laughs> it, it, this little book contains a vision of America for America that is still vibrant today, still valid. It outlines a way out of war, perpetual war, and perpetual poverty. Read it or read uh, To Seek a Newer World, all these wonderful books from this amazing man. I originally wanted to make a documentary film of this book, uh, just, just Robert Kennedy speaking, speaking these amazing words uh, for 90 minutes or 80 minutes. How thrilling. Uh, but I wrote, did the book instead. We can do a film later, I hope. Um, these, are, these speeches are his last words, and therefore they have a heightened intensity and luminosity. Robert Kennedy, oh, I'm a, I write books. I, I, this is my first political book, not really. I've translated the letters of Jean-Paul Sartre, who was uh, an, uh, <coughs> A, a great opponent of the Vietnam War, as was Robert Kennedy, and Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. But he read poetry. He thought it was valuable. And I wrote this poem yesterday in New York for Robert Kennedy. For Robert Kennedy's 80th birthday at the Capitol, November 16th, 2005. I write this in Bush's America of torturers, Bush's, Bush lying us to war, Bush laughing at the gap between the rich and poor increasing. No one knows what you would be like today. I am not a mathematician, so cannot cite equations that would bring you to 80 and tell us what you and the world would be like had you lived. Thanksgiving, 1967. I came to New York alone to live my life with you as my senator, and I hoped my president. June, 
1968. I had no TV. I was writing poetry about Vietnam. Went to bed for a restless night, dreaming of anguished voices in subway tunnels beneath Astro Place, and woke to a beautiful morning and moaning in the streets and shops. You were dying. The line was a mile long for your St. Pat's Requiem. In an East Village room that fall, I wrote the, world, the words, nostalgia for the future, not quite realizing they were for you. Your words and thoughts that year kept you alive these years. You became the president of the other America that we have carried around 37 years. You became, you became the president of the America that we salute today, where everyone has a job and some hope, that's a quote from him, where there is but one class, where we honor the arts of mercy, pity, peace, and love. Peace to you, warring soul with your delicate anger. Peace to our bloody world. Thank you.